Well, I grew up surrounded by physicians who cared a lot about people. And my two greatest heroes were my father and my grandfather. But both of them cared so much about patients that we were, our homes were really available to patients 24 hours a day. It was only natural for Alex Haddad to develop that same sense of caring. There was never any doubt in his mind that he would become a doctor. At 16, he enrolled in medical school. In his third year, Alex visited one of Bogota's poorest schools, where a group of eight and nine-year-olds wanted to talk about cocaine. It was a major turning point in Alex's life. So I basically told them in five minutes all of what I had learned about drugs and drug abuse in Colombia, and I realized that I knew very little. In fact, these kids knew about drugs more than I did, despite the fact that I was coming from the top medical school in the country. The kids opened Alex's eyes to a huge gap that exists in the delivery of health care. He set out to learn everything about cocaine, and by the time he was 20, Alex was considered a world expert on cocaine abuse and treatment. At 22, he obtained his medical degree, specializing in anesthesiology. In 1990, he began studying at Oxford University, where he researched and developed pain management techniques. At 30, he obtained his Ph.D. in knowledge synthesis. He was one of the early innovators and uh, certainly uh, the only one in Oxford who had done uh, his Ph.D. on uh, secondary as opposed to primary uh, research. In 1995, Alex and his wife Martha came to Canada with their new baby. Not long after he arrived, Alex became a professor at McMaster University. However, he was not allowed to work as a physician. It was very frustrating. Uh, I found a very supportive team of, of colleagues at McMaster University, and they did everything they could to try to accelerate the process of getting me a license uh, to practice in Canada, but it took four years. By fall 2000, Dr. Haddad joined the University of Toronto as a professor in the Department of Health Administration and Anesthesiology and the University Health Network as a senior scientist. Alex was only 37 years old. He was also appointed the inaugural Rose Family Chair in Supportive Care by UHN and U of T. He's the first director of the University Health Network's new program in eHealth Innovation. UHN is a major research organization and the eHealth Innovation Initiative is a research initiative to test out new approaches for using eHealth in the delivery of, of health services. This is going to allow us to be at the leading edge of the use of information technology and devices in, in the treatment and service to patients. As part of the program in eHealth Innovation, Alex developed the global eHealth Innovation Network using cancer as its initial focus. The Global eHealth Innovation Network is a unique collection of people, settings, places, and tools that are being getting together to reshape the health system, not only in Canada, but throughout the world. Uh, the core of this network is here in Toronto. Imagine 60 people with health sciences background, computer sciences, and health sciences background willing to work together with members of the public, with clinicians, with computer designers, with systems designers, with engineers, all tackling the same health issues together from different perspectives. Well, we're really excited to have Alex working here. Besides the important work that he's doing in research into e-health innovation, He's such an exciting individual that he's pushing all of us to think about what can be accomplished. Alex uses his position at UHN to create job opportunities in research for talented foreign trained physicians and other healthcare professionals who cannot practice in Canada. He was awarded the National Health Research Scholars Award by Health Canada. In 1998, he received Canada's Top 40 Under 40 Award. And last year, Time Magazine selected Alex as one of seven new Canadians who will shape the 21st century. Alex volunteers his time coaching soccer. He acts in school plays to raise funds for the Parents Association. He plays the piano and performs magic, card tricks in particular. So I made a conscious decision with my wife and my children, and it's that they come first. In fact, I called them my personal board of directors, and I listened to them very, very carefully. I'm learning to ice skate. 
I'm learning to do snow angels <laughs> and go tobogganing. You see, the winter is a particularly exciting time of the year for us. Alex is tireless in his pursuit of a new vision for the future of health care. My hope for the future of the health system is to ensure that we have a system that is truly equitable, that allows people to access the information, the services, and the people that they need to access when they need them, where they need them, how they need them, regardless of who they are, where they are.